Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to another video. Please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and hit the notification bell so you'll be updated on all my future content. <clears throat> so this video is going to be a review of the butterfly method, a very effective method for subtracting and adding fractions with unlike denominators. So 8 tenths minus 1 twelfth is our first example problem, and I'm going to go through step by step how to solve that problem. So step one, we have to find a common denominator. Um, the quickest way to do that is to multiply the two separate denominators. So I'm going to multiply 10 times 12. 10 times 12 equals 120. So 120 is our common denominator. So writing everything out, that's our common denominator, 120. Now to get our two numerators, to convert 8 tenths and 1 twelfth to 120 twentieths, we have to cross multiply. We have to multiply each numerator by the opposite denominator. So I'll start off, we're going to multiply 8 times 12. 8 times 12 equals 96. 1 times 10 equals 10. So now that we have a common denominator, we can solve... For the, for the fraction. So 8 tenths translates to 96 120ths. 1 twelfth is equivalent to 10 120ths. Now we can subtract our numerators. 96 minus 10 equals 86. Denominator, now that we have a common denominator, it will stay the same. So 8 tenths minus 1 twelfth equals 86 one hundred and twentieths. Now that answer is not reduced to lowest terms. Usually the reducing to lowest terms I make a separate video. I usually reserve that for a separate video, but for this particular problem... I'll, um, I'll model how to reduce the answer to lowest terms. So 86 120ths. Now the quickest, most efficient way is to divide the numerator and denominator by the greatest common factor. Um, I don't know what the greatest common factor is off the top of my head. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Shout out to everybody in the chat, everybody tuning in. That comment, that comment means a lot. I appreciate that. Thank you. Please hit the like button. So since I don't know the greatest common denominator off the top of my head, I'll just pick a common denominator to um, divide by. So 2 is a common factor between 86 and 120, so I will divide by 2. Eighty six divided by two equals forty three. One hundred and twenty divided by two equals sixty. So our reduced answer is now forty three sixtieths.